2, 2. Welcome to Zoo's family channel. Learning Python is essential, regardless of the IT job role, as it enhances your skill set and makes you a valuable asset. The question is not if you should learn Python, but when to start. According to an article on Python for Beginners, 1. You can use API to retrieve feeds from YouTube and access the most popular videos on YouTube using Python. Additionally, the PyTube library improves video downloads and you can build the YouTube modules object by supplying the URL as a parameter, then obtain the video's proper extension and resolution. As for when to start learning Python, it's recommended to start as early as possible. Whether you're becoming a network engineer, a hacker, or a cloud engineer, knowing Python is a valuable asset. For instance, if you're studying for your Cisco CCNA certification, Python knowledge will help you with network automation, as it is a requirement for the certification. Chuck from Network Chuck recommends dedicating 10 to 15 minutes of your daily schedule to learning Python, even if you have other commitments, like studying for certifications, too. It's important to make it part of your daily habits because Python is a continuous learning journey, and dedicating even a small amount of time daily can help you master a lot over time. However, if you're already overwhelmed with your current commitments, it's recommended to take a break and continue with your current routine. Remember, learning Python is a valuable skill that takes time and dedication, but it's never too late to start. References 1. https colon slash slash www.pythonforbeginners.com slash api slash using the YouTube API. 2. https colon slash slash www.frecodecamp.org slash news slash python program to download YouTube videos slash. Welcome to Zoo's channel again. In today's lesson, we'll learn about functions in Python. Functions in Python are like recipes that we can create and use over and over again to perform a specific task. Just like a recipe tells you the ingredients you need and the steps you need to follow to cook a specific dish, a function in Python tells the computer what it needs to do and how it needs to do it. Let's say you want to create a function to greet someone by their name and ask them where they're from. Here's how you can create a function to do that. Def greet name, place. Print f hello, name. Are you from, place. Here, we've created a function called greet that takes in two arguments, name and place. When the function is called, it prints out a message that greets the person by their name and asks them where they're from. We can call this function by passing in two strings for the name and place of the person, like this. Greet Alice, New York. This will output. Hello Alice. Are you from New York? Functions can be really useful when we have to do the same thing over and over again. Instead of copying and pasting the same code multiple times, we can just create a function and call it whenever we need to perform that task. There are also built-in functions that come with Python, like the print function, which prints out whatever we put inside the parentheses, or the sqrt function, which returns the square root of a number. We can use these functions without having to create them ourselves. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.